For today, I wanted to take the time to talk about an issue that's been plaguing the Minecraft community very heavily recently. And it's especially important to talk about now during the 15th anniversary celebration of all things because it correlates very closely to that. And this has caused a big tear in the Minecraft community, really, between two major sides. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about managing expectations of Mojang and of updates for the game. This has been a huge debate. It's brought up basically everywhere you look in the Minecraft community. It's something that's pretty hard to avoid. Which is why I find it weird that not many YouTubers have talked about it, so I thought I would. So, let's get into it. Now, this is a relatively complicated issue. There's basically a spectrum uh, from one extreme side to the other. The, and there are people on both sides, definitely, at opposite extremes. One extreme being this uh, idea that you're not allowed to get your hopes up for anything. You're not allowed to speculate about any future features that... You're just supposed to let yourself be spoon-fed, basically, by Mojang and not think about it at all. Think about if the features make sense or what could be to come next. And then you have the opposite side, which is basically um, we're getting a new dimension or all of the biome vote losers in this update because, uh, I don't know, this one pixel was this one color. That's not literal, but... You get the idea, right? Crazy conspiracies, speculation based off of little to no evidence. And there is actual uh, a lot of hype around uh, biome updates coming this anniversary. And I don't think it's likely. I talked about it in my 15th anniversary video. And I said, I think both in the comments and in the description that... Those are things to hope for, not to expect. Do not set your expectations to that, but you can feel free to hope. So, anyway, back to the main point. Both of these sides are wrong. I'm gonna say it flat out. No. This is a case where it's neither extreme is in the right here. It's more in the middle ground about finding a balance. See, a big thing at the root of this issue is that people don't seem to understand the difference between hoping for something and expecting something see you can expect a feature and that's a very different thing from hoping for a feature if you were hoping for a new dimension or this update you know it's obviously highly unlikely. It's realistically not going to happen. But you can hope for it. That's fine. But you shouldn't expect it. Why? Why are hope and expectation different? Because with an expectation, you're saying a precedent that I think we're going to get this, this feature. And if we don't get it, I'm going to be upset about it. And I'm going to be mad and hate talk about it or whatever with hope it's like i'm not gonna lose my mind if we don't get this it's not the end of the world i just think it would be really cool if we got this feature and maybe there's something to suggest that we will it's just a crazy theory to throw out there so that's the main difference that expectation sets a precedent precedent and hoping does not and like I said earlier, people seem to mix these up a lot. Like, people on the one extreme saying, you can't hope for anything. You're not allowed to do that. You just have to see what you get and don't complain. If someone's telling you that you can't hope for something, it, not just in Minecraft, but that in general, you're not allowed to hope, then that person's 
wrong. Just don't listen to them. I'm going to be honest with you. And that's a directly tying into the Minecraft community in this whole situation. Because I have seen people say that. It's a thing. And as for the other side, you should always have actual... If you're going to set your expectation for something, you should always have proper reason to expect that. Not just, oh, well, we haven't had a new biome update this year and we usually get one. That's not like justified reason that... I'm sorry, I know a lot of people are hoping for one, and you can hope, but you shouldn't expect. I'm hoping for one too, and it, you know, and again, I'm doing this during the 15th anniversary celebration for a reason. Like, for 15th anniversary, that's definitely the kind of thing you could hope for. I do expect something actually in game because. So far, all of the gifts Mojang promised for the 15th anniversary, the daily news has basically just been promotions. I'm going to have a whole video talking about that anniversary celebration because it's been, it's been something. Anyway, so with an understanding of the difference between hope and expectations, you can get a lot better of an idea of what the solution to this issue is, where you should stand in it. Because it's pretty close to dead center of that spectrum of that bar or whatever you want to call it. That I'm gonna hope for what I want to hope for. You know, whatever crazy thing I want or can imagine. But I'm only going to expect what there is actual reason and evidence to suggest is coming. That's where I stand, and that's really where everyone should stand. But obviously it's not. But if that was, then we wouldn't have this problem of people constantly getting upset at Mojang for not delivering on features that they never actually promised in the first place. There have been cases where Mojang has promised features and not deliver on them. That's very different. That default lies on Mojang. But for people getting upset that we didn't get a deep dark dimension from the trial key, that falls on the community. Because there was like nothing to suggest that Mojang never promised that whatsoever. Uh the armadillo colors too i'd seen talk of those again mojang never actually promised that that was just something that briefly showed up in some concept art they never mentioned it at all so you shouldn't expect that those are just some examples of things that people have expected when they really shouldn't have you need stronger evidence like uh, in the recent anniversary trailer, there was a new pottery shirt shown. Like, that's possible because I wouldn't say quite to expect it, but definitely keep your eyes open for it because, you know, a pottery shirt isn't a very big deal and it was a treasure map one, so it would fit well within this update's theme of adventure and all, but... Still, that's not quite the type of thing to expect. So, I hope that helps to clear things up, the differences here, and where you should stand on this. I know where I stand, that neither extreme is right here. There's just... There's no real reason to be at either extreme. It's like, why... Why try and kill people's hopes, dude? People are allowed to hope. That's a that's a right to humans in general, one that you just can't take away. And then on the other hand, I don't know how you can actually expect a new dimension because a key had blue eyes. Oh, that one was ridiculous. Anyway, so you see the point here. 
it, in this uh, issue, this argument all around has gotten worse, especially recently with Minecraft updates kind of getting smaller after caves and cliffs and people expecting better of Mojang, especially since, you know, after Microsoft bought Mojang, they got more developers and all that. The expectations of them was raised and they didn't necessarily meet those expectations for everyone. But, of course, expectations are a subjective thing, sort of. At least they differed from different people in the community. But that is also sort of a whole nother discussion for another time that maybe I will one day get to. There's a lot to talk about right now. Anyway, um... The other last thing I'm going to touch on here is that a lot of these crazy expectations and stuff tend to come from the downtime areas in the Minecraft news cycle. So like the summer after the update releases, when we have like no new news incoming, or even right now from like April to early June, when Mojang is just doing like small bug fixing and tweaking to the update, there's no major news. Or during winter break, no major news. It's in those times especially that crazy expectations tend and speculation tend to kind of soar. Um, but that's not really Mojang's fault. You, It is good to have some downtime. But still, of course, generally, in, like, the Minecraft community, there isn't as much to talk about as there is in a lot of other waiting popular games. Like, people compare Minecraft to Fortnite, which really is just, it's a different thing altogether, obviously. But, yes, that... With a game like that, you have a lot more to constantly talk about. And so then you have the Minecraft community talking about smaller things like the piston sound change. A lot of people got really upset over a little sound change and that got reverted. I, I didn't like the new sound either, by the way. I'm just citing it as an example here of a relatively small thing being made a bigger deal because it was in a time where we didn't have a lot of news. So people are looking for every little speck or crumb of information they can get, every crumb of news, to then try and form these wild speculations. But you can get your hopes up, but don't set your expectations too high. That is my final advice, and hopefully... That if people follow that, this issue would become less of an issue in the coming years. And I hope it does because it really all wasn't always as much of a problem. But anyway, if you made it this far, consider subscribing. Helps me a ton. If you enjoyed, leave a like maybe. And that does it. Goodbye and I hope to see you in another one.